Circuit Tools Analysis software has been designed to give you instant and understandable information on your track performance, where you're losing time and how you can improve. To see how easy the software is to use, let's look in more detail at some data captured using a VBOX Video HD2 at Donington Park's National Circuit. The driver in blue is RaceLogic's MD, Julian Thomas, who, being accustomed to driving without downforce, slick tyres or ABS, took on the learning role as he pitted himself against the National Motorsport Academy's regular driver, Gareth Downing, shown here in red. By comparing his data with Gareth's over the morning session, Julian was able to instantly confirm his suspicion that he was braking too early. I can see generally the trend between your trace in red and my trace in blue is that I'm braking earlier. As uh, I guessed at the beginning, it would be the braking where I've, I've got a lot to, to pick up. He was keen to improve and by using circuit tools was able to pinpoint the exact points on the track where he was losing the most time. The, the biggest area I can see is coming into the final chicane where late braking there has gained. So the Delta T is currently 1.8 up to that point, but coming out of the corner, he's jumped to 2.3, so there's half a second. So that would be more worth examining and looking at than yeah. the turn one. So if I look at where I'm braking, I was using the there's a the second door on the left hand side of the building on the uh, on the left there. That was my braking point, and I'm guessing yours. If we just advance it on one frame at a time. Just past that door, sort of a third past that door. So I'm braking at that point, and I'm braking four samples later. Yeah. So that's a fraction of a second, that's like uh, four tenths of a second, three tenths of a second. So it's not much later, no, but it's just a fraction later. By keeping his foot on the accelerator for four tenths longer, hitting the brakes later but harder, and getting on the throttle earlier out onto the start and finish straight. Gareth was cutting half a second from Julian's lap time in this section alone. A significant difference, and one that Julian now knew how to rectify. Back on track in the afternoon, and Julian seemed to have gained in confidence, clearly carrying more speed through the S's, down the pitch straight, around Redgate, and into the exhilarating Crainer Curves. Opening the data, it was clear he now felt he could carry a lot more speed around the circuit, braking later and getting on the power earlier. Going into coppice, I've braked a little bit early, but I've I've tried what I was trying to do was get on the throttle as soon as possible because I found before there's a there's a big delay between me and you uh, when I got on the throttle because it's it's just the, the car's fully loaded up, you're in a low gear, you just gotta trust that when the car moves you can just you hold it yeah and um, so i got a lot lot braver and I, I held my foot in a lot earlier so i've got a lot better drive than i did before coming out the corner but what about the elusive final chicane where he was losing over half a second at the end of that straight i was breaking what felt like a ridiculous last minute but it's still you're breaking a little bit later <laughs> but not much this time no there's much not much less difference. difference yeah um, lost. A, uh, I'm, I'm not carrying as much speed into the apex of that corner. Um, I'm 56 and you're 62. But I was concentrating on getting that apex yeah. because it's a left-hand drive car. So and I could feel the wheel rumbling over it. So I knew I was I was getting a lot closer that time. By directly comparing his own braking point with Gareth's, Julian realised he could be more aggressive through the S's, braking later and getting on the power earlier to save himself over half a second per lap. Between the morning and the afternoon sessions, Julian cut nearly two seconds from his lap time, going from a 1 minute 11.35 to a 1 minute 9.46. A massive saving in such a short space of time, 
and one clearly fast tracked by the use of a VBOX HD2 and Circuit Tools data analysis software. The quickest way to go faster.